Hey guys, I want to talk about building monolithic anchors and a slightly better option of how to build a monolithic anchor. If you don't know what I mean by monolithic, I'm talking about a large bomber feature. Could be a tree, could be a slung rock, could be a pinch point uh, that you really thoroughly inspect that it's not going to go anywhere and um, is strong enough to serve as a single point anchor. So I guarantee if you've been canyoneering before this looks familiar. We've got a single strand of one inch tubular webbing and we've got a water knot also called a retraced overhand. Now, we've all been canyoneering. I know that we've all repelled on anchors like this, and we've probably all lived to tell the tale. So, nevertheless, you still might cringe a little bit when you go to get on rope above a large drop on a single strand of webbing. So, instead of this anchor, uh, let's do this. So it looks almost exactly the same. What changed? Well, there's two strands now. Uh, that's the trade-off. We've doubled the webbing. We have two circumferences instead of one. Uh, now we're getting some redundancy and um, also if you're familiar with climbing anchors, we're getting an anchor that has no extension. So if one strand gets worn out by abrasion, there's still a backup strand. And uh, also, we're still getting the same benefit of equalization. The quick link can still slide to get the best position, uh, get the best angle. So I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's basically the same water knot with a, a little bit more effort. I'm going to take my webbing, go around my object, and figure out a good length. I'm going to pinch it about right there. Uh, I want one circumference and one tail. When I double it, there's going to be two circumferences and two tails. So this I'm going to mark right here. And then I'm going to hang the webbing and double it. This is a pre-cut piece for demonstration purposes, so it doesn't line up perfectly. Uh, the important part is to get the middle point of the piece of webbing, which is right here. Now tie an overhand at the midpoint. Check the two legs. Okay. I'm going to hold the knot so that the men's tie shape is facing me and it's easy to recognize. So you can see it right here. And keep that pointed towards me as I take the first strand and go around the anchor. and retrace the knot through the dress tie looking part of the knot, which we found earlier. Now bring the other tail around the anchor.
and retrace the knot again through the other side, which still looks like a dress tie. And before I tighten it, you want to feed the slack through the knot. So that they're about equal. So check that it looks like a water knot, which it does. And check that we have two tails on each side, which we do. And then go ahead and grab all both sides and pull tight. And then grab each strand of each side and pull tight. Last step is to install the quick link. And we're done.